idea of encouraging you know it's it's a lot of self-talk that you've got to do yes, right yes, uh, it's yes. it's a lot of like mind games because you know sometimes when you're you're tired you're lazy especially because of the heat the mm -hmm. the the desire is let's just get fast food but how do you go about cultivating that that mindset uh, because i think you've got it because you're talking about it and you're inspiring me but then i, I know that after a few days I'm yeah. going to be back to my own devices. Uh, how do I carry it forward where I feel inspired? Like, are there some small habits that you recommend that I do, like on a daily yeah. basis that builds on this? Nabs, the thing is, again, it is, you said it yourself, it's the habit. So it's something which, we, which will not happen in a week or two weeks, it's something which will take uh, probably months and years, because these are the habits which we've developed from our childhood. Um, and this is something which our parents have been doing. So I think it's really difficult to break these habits. But yes, of course, there's, we can always change ourselves. So the, 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 way, the, the most important thing with respect to your question, which I say to most of my clients is that, and it really helps most of them, is that I say to them that throughout the day, document what you've been eating. So that documentation can be writing it down or that documentation, most of them don't like to write down. So that documentation can be in the form of taking pictures of their food. We've all got our phone. And even if you take a bite of something, quickly take a picture. And that picture is not to show anyone. You don't need to share it with anyone. But at night, that is your time. You go through those pictures, have a look, and then that's the time of self-reflection. And you say to yourself, oh, I did really well. I had a bowl of a bowl of salad with with some starchy carbs with protein. Oh, I had kebabs. I had you know I had I did did I have takeaway yesterday as well? Am I having takeaway today as well? So the thing is that will give us a chance to think over our food, and that may, no one is telling you. You are your own judge. So you're looking at your food, and you are you know giving yourself that points and all. And here I would want to say one more thing is that please don't think that having uh, something from the chip shop or having kebab is bad or wrong. There's nothing wrong in it. That's also part of a healthy lifestyle. If you stop having them all together, you would want them to have, you will feel like having them more and more. So my suggestion and my recommendation is that never stop yourself. You have to include those foods in your diet as well. There is no food, no food is bad. So, oh, I, I like the emphasis on balance there. Yes, yes. All food is good. Food is food at the end of the day. There is no cheat meal. The concept of cheat meal, there is no such thing. When you're having your meal, just enjoy your meal and think of the next day that what you're going to have and what. And planning is really important, Nabs. When you said that, how can we develop the habits? Planning is really important. Perhaps make a plan for the week. Perhaps make a plan for the month and then follow that plan and shop accordingly. Well, you've, you've definitely inspired me to <laughs> get some more fruits and veg uh, as of today. Um, and I, I'm going to be staying away from taking pictures to go.